You guys, I found the craziest software. Flystow.net is awesome. I'm not affiliated, but I just, I've been using it and I'm like, I gotta share this with my peeps. So if you're a CFI or a flight school or a maintenance organization, you can really use this. You're gonna love it. You can track all things telemetry and if your pilots are doing the right thing or braking too hard. I mean, I use it for flight tests, the backcountry bogey. I'm using it to get better at my stole, short takeoffs and landings and I'm using it for just so much more. We're testing the new propeller and cooling and everything else. So I've got some digital avionics that I can pull out my SD card and load it in and check it out. But you don't even need that. You can throw up your cell phone and, and put an app that records GPS if you've got steam driven gauges. But I'm so excited, I'm gonna shut up here. We'll go home and check out this software, flystow.net, let's go. Hey, it's Steve, welcome back to Clear Direct. I just happen to be a Garmin guy, so you just grab your SD card from your Garmin Avionics or Dynon, and Dynon you can actually crank up the recording rate and record it uh, a lot more than just one hertz. Unfortunately, the, the Garmin system is just one hertz, but it's it's good enough for everything that I need to do. So we jump into flystow.net software. You create an account. Of course, I've already got an account with a bunch of my flights already loaded and this is where it, it takes you but i don't want to jump in quite yet here i want to show you some of the analysis that it can do first off this is when i went to oshkosh and then be bopping around the backcountry in the Pacific Northwest. I don't have all my flights in there. I wish I did because if I did, then it can give my true averages of the entire life of this aircraft. Some, some highlights, these are kind of your records, your highest ground speed, highest true airspeed, highest average ground speed, number of landings, airports, highest elevation airport, highest density altitude takeoff. Look at that. Okay, you can add in your crew, your family members, if they're just passengers, you can have multiple aircraft. And this is where you set up kind of the, I'm an airline guy, so the FOQA data. So flight ops uh, quality assurance is what the airline uses. It's just telemetry off of the, the airliner. It gets beamed to the company and they've got professionals that sift through that and Bing, a flag will come off if you have an unstable approach and landed out of that an unstable approach you might get a phone call whenever you set up your account you set up your aircraft it'll have some defaults for what type of aircraft it is but you can actually go through and just set all these flags that once you download all your your data to the to the cloud here it'll uh, it'll show you all these these flags that you've set up so acceleration if you've pulled too many G's or you know your CHTs were too hot for too long um, you have too rapid of a descent rate, all that stuff. So Big Brother could be watching. And speaking of which, it could be good for flight organizations, FBOs that rent their aircraft, uh, just to kind of monitor what everybody's doing. Could potentially be good for maintenance organizations as well. You can sort it by just your approaches. And you can, of course, sort it by any of this stuff as well. I want to jump into a, a flight I did recently where I went from Bend up to Madras where they have a grass strip. I did a few bounce and goes. Let's check out the flags. So I had CHT greater than 425 for two minutes in total. Some other flags here. Okay, I, I want, also want you to know that you're not in a vacuum here. This is going out and searching ADSB data and it'll give you a warning if proximity was too close to another aircraft or if you were potentially in their their wake turbulence zone. It, it, it just does an amazing amount of analysis on that. It's got all your times, your block times as, as well. You can review your flight maneuvers. If you were out there doing, doing some maneuvers, you can just simple click to it and then it'll give you some parameters on your maneuvers, which I just can't imagine as a, as a CFI, I would be <laughs> using the heck out of this. Got your fuel used, and of course it's gonna be limited by what your avionics can record. Even if you've got steam driven gauges, there's plenty of data. I mean, shoot, you could probably even throw your cell phone recording GPS data and throw it in there. I mean, the amount of, of uh, file types that this takes is, is just amazing. It's great for logging flights as well. So let's um, let's show what, uh, what a land or a stop and go up at Madras on the grass looked like. So it's gonna immediately zoom in to the maneuver here and the beginning and the end, and of course it's super easy to zoom in and out and slide. So I'm trying to assess my ground roll. Okay, I touched, there's the threshold. You're limited by the recording rate of your, of your software, so it's one per second. So I was somewhere around 2450 or so crossing the threshold, and then on the, on the grass there at 2440. So about 10 feet over the threshold. And then I came to a, so let's see, that's 
40 feet across from the threshold, came to a stop there and uh, uh, just under 500 feet. So uh, about 360 foot ground roll or so. And then to verify that, here's your speed. Let's just better yet use ground speed and showed, yep, I had no kidding, came to a stop and it was smart enough to analyze uh, that that was my stop with those dashed lines right there. Okay, you've also got AOA. If, if, uh, if you do have that equipped on your aircraft, you got your vertical speed, your pitch, your bank, your power, and then your slip skid. There's some other landings I've seen where you'll, you'll have the option of seeing how far off the center line you, you are so you can, you can uh, debrief yourself or somebody else on that. I think this is wind data over here. So uh, you can even see what the wind is doing. Wind shear, this is just on this maneuver. So if you're working on stole, that's just fantastic information for, uh, for you to have there. And then let's take a look at what a takeoff looks like. If you're doing a test of, of how far it takes you to get over a 50 foot obstacle, there's a 50 foot denotation right there. And so, yeah, you can uh, really fine tune your skills and your climb rates. See if you're at VX, or VY, whatever you're trying to do, look how powerful that is. All right, let's take a look at some more, more um, buttons around this thing. So you can turn on street view, topographic view, if you're flying in the back country, that would be super interesting as well. And then here's where you, the uh, ADSB traffic is selectable. And then here, let's go ahead and put it in play. You can even play this back. And then, of course, you've got varying, uh, varying playback speeds that you can select. We're just going to do it at one time speed and see if we can find any sort of other traffic out there. Here's one. All right. Cessna 152. There's his end number, 49194. And uh, it shows your distance away. So it could give you flags of, again, proximity to other aircraft. Or if you're flying through the wake turbulence, that's how it gets that data. So I don't know if this is scary to some people that <laughs> Big Brother's watching, but there's a little bit of turbulence right there. I think my air aircraft reported that. And then weather. You've got uh, weather to be able to pull. And then uh, weather areas. And then airspace. And then some more details right there. Okay. Okay, you can set up your mouse wheel action. You can collapse that, and then you can automatically zoom to the maneuver that you're that you've got selected. Okay, up here we're just obviously in a 2D map, guys. You have to pay for flight for this feature right here. Check this out. Isn't that isn't that amazing? So let's do the entire flight, and you can zoom in. There's my landing. There's my pattern. Flew over the top of the field. Uh, did a teardrop to. 45 and then the downwind you can just assess all or debrief if you're a CFI uh, debrief them and then some other views you can get are just the chart view of course there's different things that are selectable there and then you've got the cockpit view so a virtual HUD you'll see it bouncing around every one second because my avionics record at a one Hertz rate but AOA is recorded there there's the wind my true airspeed my ground speed my indicated airspeed uh, altitude, vertical speed. I mean, you're, even my selected altimeter uh, altitude for my on my MCP. So, okay, here's some just some easy buttons I like call them. So if I just want to take a look at my CHTs, you can go here. You can you can uh, delete a, a cylinder or add a cylinder if you'd like, and then look at all these parameters. Okay, so oil pressure. There's my oil pressure. And then you can compare it to my CHTs. So what my oil pressure was doing versus my CHTs or, or oil pressure compared to um, your airspeed. And then that's where you select indicated true or ground speed. All right. So you can really unlock a ton of amazing data with this tool. And it was just too good for me to... Uh, to just keep to myself. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you enjoy this content or want uh, to join me on some backcountry adventures, make sure you subscribe. And if I've earned it, give it this uh, video a like. Appreciate it. My name's Steve. You're clear direct.